Welcome to our very condensed version of the history of plumbing. In the factory, in the way of Queen Victoria, we have suffered an epidemic. Cholera, brought to us from Asia between 1832 and 1849, 14,000 Londoners perished. Many ideas have been put forward as to how the disease has spread. Over time, Dr. John Snow was the one who discovered the link between tainted water and the disease. It turned out that twibbies and cesspits were built far too close to wells. These last 50 years have seen an increase in the use of indoor privies, <clears throat> very popular with the wealthy classes. Now, the problem with all these indoor privies is that the existing system didn't cope anymore. Well, air was only designed to look after rainwater anyway. As such, all that waste went straight to our river Thames. Oh, stench. Oh, the wildlife disappeared too. In 1858, London suffered a very discomforting time. So bad was the stink, Parliament had to close its doors and wait for the stench to abate. Ah, it was this event that kick-started the construction of our lovely modern sewer system, designed and built by Joseph Bazalgette. Ah, ah, wonderful the sewers. It was only six short years after their construction that I saw as a young man salmon swimming in the River Thames. Yes, 1864 it was. As we move through the century, plumbers have really come into their own. Of course, they're exposed to more hazards and dangers now than they ever have been. Gas explosions tend to be quite a big one. As such, part of their toolkit is a bottle of peppermint oil. Most ingenious it is. They use it for detecting leaks. The plumber who was here the other day says they stick a few drops in at the top of the house, and as they're walking through the rest of it, they can sniff out where any leaks are. Wonderful. Well, here we are in 1884, and I've just heard that this lovely gentleman engineer <clears throat> by the name of Thomas Quacker has just developed a revolutionary new toilet design. <clears throat> it has a bull chain, <clears throat> which happens to release water to refill the bowl once you're done. My oh, heart's great. Thomas Quacker. I'm sure his name will go down in history. <laughs> <laughs>